What's up everyone, it's the Everyday Dad bringing you another behind the scenes gear video of how I make my YouTube videos and how you can up your YouTube game. So what are we talking about today? Tripods? Tripods are the most boring thing ever, right? Wrong. Tripods are, without a doubt, in my mind, almost as important as the camera when it comes to making YouTube videos. Having smooth footage will make your videos look super professional and you will rock it. It can make a whole world of difference. I guarantee it. For example, check out this cheap flimsy tripod. You think it likes this slider? The answer is no, it doesn't like it at all. And frankly, I don't like it for not liking my slider because that slider is like a tripod to me. Having flimsy, cheap tripods really doesn't help out that much. It may help if you're just trying to get a single shot, but if you're trying to do any panning or tilting, you gotta invest a little bit of money to get a decent tripod. And what you really want is a nice, solid tripod that lets you do all sorts of things. Now, this Ravelli tripod is not gonna win a beauty contest by any stretch of the imagination. But it is very strong where it matters, and this thing is seriously like a tank piece of gear, and since I've gotten it, I feel much more confident in making my videos. In fact, making this video has taken twice as long, and it's so much harder because I don't have my standard tripod to go to. I've had to use my travel tripod. I've had to use my lesser tripods that I got when I first started making videos for the channel. Having a solid tripod, I cannot overstate how great it is to have a solid, reliable tripod. Adding any kind of movement to your videos makes them look so much better. This tripod has double reinforced legs that have three extendable sections. It's actually the same height as I am, not that that's a huge accomplishment, and it must weigh like 20 pounds. This thing is super solid. It can hold 27 pounds of camera, gear, and accessory. That's like 10 of my Lumix G7s and microphones and everything that I put on the camera on top of each other. The Lumix is a really light camera. This one comes with a fluid friction head at the top with two arm thing. I'm not a camera expert. And these two arm things allow you to use both hands to get really smooth pans, really smooth tilts. And the fluid head also allows you to change the settings on it to make it either have more friction or less friction, depending if you want a smoother or faster shot. You know, really depending on what you want in your video. And that's what tripods give you. They give you control over your video. You don't have to like shake trying to hold the camera and make sure everything's lined up and super steady. You don't have to set up a really fancy gimbal if, you don't, if you're not trying to get like a walking shot. If you're trying to do a stable shot and you want to add motion to it, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot do better than a tripod. And this Ravelli is really good. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. One thing that I really do not like about it is it has its own proprietary quick plate on the top, which means if something goes wrong with this quick plate, I am hosed because yes, you can, I guess you can reach out to the manufacturer, but it's not, it's not just as easy as going down to Best Buy to pick up a new quick release plate. Not that my Best Buy has anything anyway. But I'm okay with that as this tripod was a decent price and if it breaks, I'd be okay for upgrading to a nicer tripod in the future. Seriously though, if you want to up your YouTube game, using a tripod gives you very good options for making videos and it lets you use unstabilized lenses to keep with the super smooth footage. So like my 24 millimeter lens is not a stabilized lens. It doesn't have any autofocus, it doesn't have anything like that. I need everything to stay the same except the smooth shot. The only way I'm going to get that is with a decent tripod and they just I cannot overstate how awesome a sturdy tripod can make your videos. Also, if you want to use accessories like a slider, like we mentioned earlier, a flimsy tripod, even two flimsy tripods are not going to hold it up. You need a really good steady 20 pound, gonna break, you could break somebody's face with it tripod to get a slider on there so that it works properly. Well hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. We do YouTube gear and philosophy reviews every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out that these tripods are probably better than sliced bread ever, seriously, I like them, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching. I literally just popped the light bulbs in one of my cameras doing that.